Hi, I greet this day with the love in my heart. Welcome to the Instant Mind Dynamics. Today, the tip of the day is Power of Intuition Part 8. Today being 28th May 2019. Again, the wonderful day is ahead. Let's make the day worth remembering. Now, 28th May. The same day is considered to be International Burgers Day, they call it. And also it is called International Amnesty Day. The Amnesty International was founded by Peter Benson in the year 1961. And it's a government discretion to free the prisoners who underwent a long trial and make them to free. So this institute, institution, Amnesty International, pleading all over the world for the long-term prisoners to free. Great. And same day, 28th May in 1903, Santana Lashmi Narayan Rao Kirloskar was born in Sholapur in Mumbai, in Maharashtra. And he was known as an Indian greatest businessman and industrialist, and who is responsible for growth of Kirloskar groups. Okay. In the same day, 28th May 1923, Nandamuri. Tarek Ramarao was born. We know him as a NT Ramarao in uh, one of the village in Andhra Pradesh. And you know him, he has worked as an actor and as well as seven years as a chief minister of Andhra Pradesh. And he's a founder of uh, uh, Telugu Desam Party. Okay. And the same day, 28th May. 1964, Jawaharlal Nehru was cremated, and uh, the place which we were cremated are called Sati Banam in Rajkat. Okay, let's come into my subject the power of intuition. The intuition linked with our dream, also. When I say dream, dream is not the one which we see it in sleep, but the same which doesn't allow you to sleep. That's what Dr. Abdul Kalam Ji was told us. Now, when I say dream, there is an intuitive guidance is there. It gives you and makes you to expect all possibilities of acquiring what you are in life. So, we have to listen to a dream also. So here, when I say the intuitive talk, inside the this thing there are two things is happening one it is called authoritative and the other one is called responsibility our intuition whenever we abide by that if it is authoritative it may not work well but if it is responsible it works example in the organization we see a boss and also we see a leader the boss is a person who has got authority to command and even he has got a right to sack people who do the mistake. But the leader is the person who finds a cause for that mistake and try to guide the, the working force for the profitability or what you call productivity of the organization. So our intuitiveness if you abide the responsibility, you will become a leader. If you listen to the authoritative, you will become a boss. So try not to be authoritative, but responsibility. But at the same time, have both so that you can lead your life in a very, very interesting manner. Be a parent or a student, 
or an organization employer or a teacher or whoever it may be you are. If you adopt this intuitive talk which it tells you to be authoritative as well as the responsibility, you are a good human being to the world. If you adopt any one, why don't you adopt responsibility so that we can create a people and you know correct their mistakes and show them the right path instead of authority because authoritative uh, we know that uh, it let us adopted that technique and you know what had happened later to us now coming to this intuitive stock like madam curie who found that uh, uh, discovered the radium how did she got it when she was sleeping she got something out of it and she woke up in the middle of the night and she went to her lab and started writing the formulas next day when she saw, saw that the formulas she was shocked and who had written such beautifully and she could find that uh, and discover the radium and uh, alexander graham bell he was trying to find an instrument which can help the ear um, in, in, in environment but in the result he could be able to find a telephone how did he get that intuition because he abide by that responsibility not with that what he call authority so when a word from today listening to your subconscious which tells you something just analyze whether it is authoritative or it is a responsibility if you find responsibility it's very good if you find both authority and responsibilities it much more good instead adapting only authority okay for that simple technique is take a journal write it out and see that it's authority to or the responsibility right and for the last seven episode i've been giving a simple techniques just to follow it and meditate on that when you meditate your mind becomes a calm and you'll be able to hear the inner voice crystal clearly people are in frustrated mode they will not listen to what in the conscious tell them okay it's very good to be in a meditative mode at least 20 minutes a day you will know what your conscious tells you through your intuitiveness or in- intuition which i been referring at the same time you keep awareness note that means keep a journal a pen and pad next to you and the next day morning when you get up try to recollect the dream which you had encountered in, in the previous night some of the dreams are very clearly would be remembering right 90 minutes of whatever you remember i mean uh, uh, remember in the dream it's in the rem process okay in the process you get a, a dream note down that what you see and where have you been what colors you seen who are the people you met who are the people quite often come to your mind and if they come what happens to the next day and what colors you see did you see the flower did you see the snake did you see the water water maybe i try to analyze the next day what information it gives you i tell you it is all subconscious intuitive information through a visual impact in the tree it gives to you and remember all that for good cause and even predict some bad things also you could be able to do that but let's keep everything in positive mode and we have been talking about listening since yesterday why you listening a positive enforcement should be given to first to yourself what i'm trying to tell you is positive enforcement what is a positive enforcement enforcement supposing i am going to uh, uh going in a train let us say okay i didn't get the ticket but i uh, bought the open ticket let's say and the train is being sat it's overcrowded now our intuitiveness will say oh today is being sunday the whole train is crowded i will not get a seat and it's very difficult to get a seat you'll have to stand and travel a long distance but if you reinforce the thought into positive mode that that's what i'm telling positive reinforcement 
when you do that, you know what happens? When you get into the train, somebody will offer you a seat and you will travel as comfortable as you deserve. This has happened to me in many places. Going for a movie, ticket was also, you somebody will add your ticket that they got extra ticket when you do the positive reinforcement. That's for yourself. Similarly, in the life front, if you come, up, come across a person without the analytical reasoning, you can do the positive reinforcement. So what happens? You will understand it very well. So today's technique is don't judge people just like that. Give you a positive reinforcement so everything will happen beautifully, dramatically well the way you expected. And give you value to your dreams. Okay, last but not the least. Your dream doesn't have expiry date. Only thing is you have to sit, take a deep breath and try it once again. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later. May you all be blessed.